Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the, well, it was a clean bench, but it's kind of getting messy again. Oh, well, <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. But today I'm going to talk about a group of integrated circuits that are in the 8-pin dual inline package. You know, something like this. It has four pins on each side. It's very small. There's been some very useful and popular ICs made in that package style so I'm concentrating on that they're going to be favorites of mine and certainly popular among the do-it-yourself community and just quite popular in electronics in general the first IC it was developed in 1970 released in 1971 still available today in fact it's the most popular IC that's ever been produced as far as you know in actual quantity it was released by the Signetics Corporation in 1971 and the man who developed it was Hans R. Kammerzind I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct but he died a few years ago in 2012 without you know without much notice which is kind of sad because he had several patents and developed an integrated Class D amplifier, phase lock loop, IC, authored a few books. But what is the chip I'm talking about? Well, it's none other than the 555 timer. I have it set up here on the board as a monostable mode timer. So I just put a negative pulse on the trigger pin and it turns the LED on for the time determined by the capacitor and resistor. It's set for about 12 seconds. Now, if you want to learn how to set this up, just use the data sheet. That's where I got it. I'm not really talking about specific circuits in this video. But anyhow, this you know, you, there's several uses for this chip. I've seen it used on, in surface mount mode on products that are made today. So 45 years and it's still going. And I'm sure if you've played with electronics, you've probably played with this IC. The next 8-pin dual inline package is kind of a family of chips. Not really a specific one, though I will mention a specific IC. And that is the operational amplifier. It's unique in that it has a differential type input. And back in the early days, late 60s and early 70s, companies were trying to outdo each other bringing high performance operational amplifiers to the market because they had so many uses. They were popular in the military and other usage. For one thing, they could perform linear arithmetic operations. And my interest is mainly with audio. Well, later in the 70s, I'm not sure the exact year, but Signetics, you know, the same people that did the 555 timer, come up with a high-performance audio IC, and that's the NE5532. It's still available today. A lot of other op amps came along and tried to unseat it, but never really accomplished that. Well, sure, there are very high-performance op amps available today, but in actual use, the NE5532 performs so well with distortion and such, and because it's so cheap, it's still very popular. I mean, you can buy these chips for 94 cents each from DigiKey, and in quantity, they're even cheaper. They're even still used in those big professional mixing boards because those things need hundreds of chips, and, you know, they can't afford to put expensive, high-performance op amps. You know, they might use them in certain places, but... You know, the main workhorse is still the NE5532 because it's very cheap to use 
hundreds of those things in those mixing boards. Well, my little demonstration here, I've set up a, a what's known as a color organ. It just flickers lights to the music and one you know, reacts to the low frequencies and the other to the high frequencies. So I set this little circuit up. I'm not going to talk about schematics and such. If you want me to make a separate video about this simple color organ, I can do it. It runs on one 9-volt battery and it's driven from the audio amplifier here. And let me hit play on the music player. Oh, I gotta turn the power on, don't I? I'll have to break that because it might be copyrighted music. So there you have it. An operational amplifier, very popular. See a lot of it now in surface mount, but gosh, it's one of the chips you gotta tinker with if you're into electronics. The next popular 8 pin dual inline package, again, it's a kind of a series of chips, is the audio power amplifier. Now when I say power, it doesn't mean a whole lot of watts. Power just means it raises the voltage and current enough to drive a loudspeaker load. These got popular in the 70s. Probably one of the most familiar chips is the LM386. They even made an 8-pin LM380 version. There's the stereo TDA. 2822 that came out early 90s I think maybe the late 80s but that was used in a lot of things like computer speakers and small boom boxes you know they they managed to stuff a stereo power amp into an 8 pin dual inline package one of my favorite ICs is the TDA 7267 that's the chip I'm using here that was driving the color organ circuit. Another family of ICs that are commonly found in the 8-pin dual inline package is the microcontroller. Now these come in different sizes. They have various numbers of in and output pins. But if you're controlling a circuit that doesn't need a lot of inputs or outputs, these little 8-pin microcontrollers are really neat. Normally you buy the ICs and you can buy a little development kit with a programmer from the company like Microchip or whomever. You write your program in assembly and assembler and uh, load it onto the chip. Also they come in ICs that have a bootloader like the open source Arduino or I don't believe it's open source but there's also Pickaxe. You can buy their chip or the little programming software. And with these chips you don't need a special programmer. You just connect it to your computer and you can download your program right into the chip and you know have it do what you want it to do. Inside these things are a little 8-bit microcontroller. They'll have ROM for storage of the program and lookup tables. They'll have a little bit of RAM which the program might need to store variables and such. They also have other special functions like uh, analog to digital converter. So for example I could interface this with the real world measuring some voltage level and depending on that voltage level have it Perform a, perform a certain function and send it to the outputs. So these are extremely versatile and I enjoy playing with them, making you know, write different programs, making them do different things. 
They have stolen the thunder from chips like the 555 timer because it's easy to write timing programs for these things. This circuit here drives this RGB LED. Let me turn it on here. All it does is just, you know, cycles through the colors. And the chip drives this little LED directly. And I'm taking some of the output over to this, let's see, what is it, a UNL2803 driver. And the outputs go through resistors and drives this power LED and it just follows through the same color cycle. And that's all this does. It just cycles through the colors. So there you have it. Some 8-pin dual inline package ICs that I think are very useful, popular, and fun to use. Great for do-it-yourself experimenters like myself. Well, if you think I've forgotten something that might be popular, maybe uh, phase lock loops or something like that, let me know. Discuss it down in the comment sections. Well, that's it. View, rate, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.